Hey everybody, we're at the uh, San Isabel National Forest and we're going to try the Harvard Lakes Trail today. Uh, it's about 1,500 feet of elevation gain and about three miles, so we'll see how it goes. The Harvard Lake Trail ended up being a five and a half mile out and back with around 1,500 feet of elevation gain. The hike starts easy enough up this service road, which had a deceptive 10% incline grade. From the start of the hike and the more open space, the views of the surrounding collegiate peaks are pretty impressive. At about the one mile mark, the trail turns to the south, heads into the woods, and flattens out for about a half a mile. Good time to catch your breath. After the flat section, it is time for the big climb. The big climb is one mile up a very rocky path that seems like a dried riverbed. The loose rock and inclines in the high teen to low 20% grade is a challenge and slowed me way down. The saving grace of the climb was this stream of snow melt that was really flowing on a June day. I just had to have a little fun and see how waterproof my camera really was. At the top of the hill, you will connect to the Colorado Trail for a short walk to the first Harvard Lake, then another tenth of a mile to the second lake to wrap up the hike. Well, we made it to Upper Harvard Lake right there. It's a pretty nice lake and some pretty nice views. Uh, it was a tougher hike than I was expecting, about, uh, I'd say, 15 to 1,800 feet of elevation gain. Um, and really steep, really steep sections uh, up some rocks, which was tough, which is going to make it a tougher uh, climb down as well. Um, anyways, we're here, and the view is totally worth it, and uh, it's getting a little windy, but I'm going to enjoy this for a minute. I hope you enjoyed the hike and the video as well. If you did, please hit that subscribe button or check me out at fatmanlittletrail.com uh, to get all of my latest posts. Posts. I hope to see you on the trail soon, and until then, happy hiking.